Hello, I'm going to show you in this tutorial, it's special for beginners, how do you create an explosion. We are going to delete that one. We're going to add mesh sphere, like that, and we're going to scale it a little bit up. Good, this is in uh, the cube or the sphere that we want to explode, so we go to object and go to quick effects and then we choose explode. Okay. What you have seen on meanwhile is that underneath at the green bar here there's a red line and the red line starts at zero and ends at 50. So if we start up you see what's happening. Show you. You see the sphere explodes in multiple parts and they fall down. Yeah. We are now at 25. Why? We start at position 1 over there and the simulation ends at 250. If you want to put it at, at 100, you say 100 and it is limited to 100. This is the current step. So if you want to go further, it's, this is further. You see, this is stop backwards. Okay. This is to the start. This is play. This is stop. This is coming back. And this is to the end. Very simple. Okay. Basic. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to look for that explosion. And this, that explosion is sphere. And under here, particles. Okay. What's important for you is the number. I'll change it so you can see directly what I mean. I put in two. So if I say two, you see what's happening. I press that one. The skull breaks in two. Two parts. This, this is generating how many parts will the ball be broken. Okay, let's say for the moment now th four, four. Let's say four. Okay. Then we have the start position. The start position is here at one. If you want it later, just put in five or ten. It's not important. But it must all be more, more than, uh, less than uh, the end position. Just let's say, for instance, that you say it ends at ten. And it starts at 5, you will see that the front of the bar is positioned from 0 to 5. And what's happening now is going to start, you see that the ball will stand until 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now he's starting to explode. He's exploding until number 10 in 4 parts. And fall down. Still fall down, you see. Nothing ended. So, another thing that's important is, first, start explosion. And explosion. If you want a quick explosion, put it start and into the same position. Lifetime. Lifetime, it, let's say for instance that it is one. See what's happening? I press, oh sorry, go back, it's much more easy. Just at position five, position five, the explosion starts and all parts break up and it takes one second because I say one and then they disappear. Quack, they disappear. So if I put three, they will stay a little longer. So we go back. Five is a breakup. One, two, three, and they're, they're gone. So start position, end position, and the lifetime. Okay, we put it back again. Somewhere was 40, let's say 40. Okay, we put random. That means that the pieces are random. We go again. Zero starts. They fall apart last for 40 seconds and it's 40 up to there the end of the red line okay what's important for you is that we're going to take some more now uh, let's say uh, 500 okay you see what that, what that gives us and put the time to 60. you see they fall apart downwards you can do it like verts like phases or volumes the volumes that means that there are more sticky parts to each other i'll leave it to that if you want to change play play around with it another uh, important thing is uh, velocity is the velocity of the geometry that this is that means the broken parts if you put it at you have seen it at one i put it at six for instance we do the same look they're much more open exploded i exaggerate i put in 12 sorry 12 Go back again. See the difference? Okay, put back one. It's tangentially. It means parts, see, you see, so rotating, they are almost tangential to each other. 
so but that's more normally not important the rest is not for any purpose good i'll leave that also there is not a thing that is important and that's that one these two first of all gravity why are they falling down if i put uh, one again over here and i do the simulation again you see that the parts broke and they fall down good if i set gravity to zero you will see next that they fall open and they stay in the direction flying so the gravity has no importance at the parts one thing if you want that please put it at one and then we have a selection tool here force field settings you play you, you lay it on and then you can choose you can choose for a force meaning if the force is here at one that then he will use maximum of what you set here if you put that 0 0.5 or 0 he will use 0 few times what you set okay strength i leave it for the moment to 1 okay and there's a force see what's happening play back again see it explodes and the explosion is much more than that if i add 10 you will see that it is much more than the, than the last time and it goes much faster good i put one one again you have different sorts of things you can have a wind i'll show you what that is this is blowing it sideways same principle strength you can adjust vortex is on also a nice one that's like the wind sorry wrong one but they rotate i'll put um, you can com combine uh, force for instance one that means that they explode and meanwhile that they turn so we use vortex on the second one and we do the same things we leave it I show you bit by bit first yeah, and now at speed they rotate they rotate meanwhile the explosion um, you see probably better to see now okay but you can experiment with that this is a very easy tutorial and uh, now if you have done the explosion and you want to show it to someone how can you do that you go over here to the render mode and you go to animation if you go to animation this is your starting point one this is the same as over there and the hundred is the same as over here frame step is the step of your frames and here you choose minimum 24 uh, frames a second because otherwise you will see pock 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 spocks okay and the next thing that you want is uh, over here is the output first of all this is the directory where you put your animation on if you want to animate you will say it over there save it over there and this is the file i'm always using rv for uh, file format for uh, or you can choose mpeg it's depending on what you want this is all i can tell you very quickly about a normal explosion thank you for watching